Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show the demo on how to get or print 1 to 100 serial numbers in SQL Server. In SQL Server, there is a uh, ranking function called uh, row number. It is also get the serial numbers, but this is different. This is continuous 1 to 100 print the serial numbers from 1 to 100. So there are two ways to get the result in this in this exercise. Employer even though it is not relevant to the de developer responsibilities, employers want to know the looping condition and other knowledge about the from the candidate. They are raising these common questions. So uh, there are two ways to get the result. Uh, one is while loop condition by using the while loop. And second one is by using CT, common table expression. So we will see how to get this uh, <coughs> the result by using these two. So without wasting them, let's jump into the demo. This is my SQL Server Management Studio 2014. So first I am using the first uh, while loop. I am declaring two variables here and as same data types. I am increasing the font size. I am declaring two, two variables along with in their uh, data types. Now I, am, now I am assigning the values to the variables. Here I am writing the condition while at a less than or equal to at b so syntax begin and end between these two syntaxes we write the code print at a at at a is equal to at a plus 1 so this is the uh, code for getting the 1 to 100 serial numbers let's see whether it is executed or not correctly yeah we will get the result so here, see here 100, um, you may get doubt what will happen if we instead of print we if you write this select in the query. If you write this select and execute, it will, it will give the result but it will give it in different way. So it will throw in each number in separate row like this. But we want continuous to see the serial numbers from 1 to 100, not in this format. For that, print is the right option. Print, if you go to print 1 to 100, it will display like this. That's what we want also. So, this is how you get the result. So, I may here again the explain the code. First, you need to declare the two variables and data types. After that, you will assign the values as per your condition. If you want to give, uh, if you want to print 51 to 100, uh, then it is 51, 100. Here, um, we want to get 1 to 100. For one variable, it's 100, and the second variable is 100. So, here in this while condition, we have to write the condition at a less than is equal to b. And begin and end is the syntax, and between the begin and end, you need to write 
print and this uh, loop condition set a at a is equal to a plus 1 till it will get the 100 the loop will iterate and get the result this is the first method now I am using the second one that is CT with CT as Within the press, you need to read your code. Select one as number. If you execute the same as this, you will get one result. But we want one to hundred. For that, you need to implement UNINR. plus 1 from which from CTE table from CTE where here is the condition number less than equal to 100 So inner query, if you want to execute this query, you would write the outer query. Select star from CT. So if you want to execute the both at a time, you will get the result. See here. See. Number is alias name and then these numbers it is showing 1 to 100. I am getting uh, 101 also. So instead of uh, 101 is equal to, you have to write only just less than 100. Now we will check, you will get exactly 1 to 100. Yeah. This is where you get the result. This is very common interview question once again I am repeating. I saw so many interviews these questions are writing by the employers just to want to know how the loop, uh, looping knowledge and uh, how the loop condition will work this is the uh, common interview question to know the details about the looping condition all these things. So it is 